atrial atrial functional mitral regurgitation occurs secondary to left atrial disease without left ventricular dilatation and intrinsic mitral wall disease. Atrial functional MR typically occurs in the setting of long-standing atrial fibrillation. It is associated with increased mortality risk and hospitalization for heart failure. Reported prevalence of atrial functional MR in patients with AF vary between 3 to 15 percent. These patients have worse clinical outcome. Dilatation of the mitral annulus, atriogenic tethering of mitral leaflets, and insufficient mitral leaflet remodeling are thought to be important pathogenetic mechanisms of atrial functional MR. Insufficient leaflet remodeling leads to annulus to leaflet area imbalance. In addition, reduced annular contractility, increased wall stress by flattened saddle shape of the annulus, and left atrial dysfunction may be important triggers for atrial functional MR. Evidence for atrial functional MR in atrial fibrillation was provided by a retrospective study of patients undergoing first AF ablation. Of the 828 patients screened, those with echocardiogram at the time of ablation and at one year clinical follow up were included. The study cohort of 53 patients had at least moderate MR. A reference cohort of 53 patients was randomly selected from 660 patients with mild or less MR. The effect of restoration of sinus rhythm was assessed by follow-up echocardiogram. It was observed that MR patients were older than controls and more often had persistent AF, 62% versus 32%. Patients with MR had larger left atria but similar left ventricular size and ejection fraction. Patients in continuous sinus rhythm had greater reductions in left atrial size and annular dimension. They had lower rates of significant mitral regurgitation, 24% versus 82%. Study authors concluded that AF can result in atrial functional MR and that it improves if sinus rhythm is restored. Surgical considerations of atrial functional MR are different from ventricular functional MR. Surgical treatment is currently the most reliable option for atrial functional MR. A retrospective study analyzed 10 patients with chronic AF who underwent mitral wall repair for atrial functional MR. All had chronic heart failure symptoms 